Hello, Pisces. It is 12, no, it is 1.43 in the afternoon, October the 12th. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Oh, my God. I went running this morning, not walking, and it was freaking cold as crap outside. No lie, it was freezing. So, got my nails done. This color that they put on it, I don't know what the hell this is. It's supposed to change with the lighting and all that. Yup. So anyway, so let's start off by saying thank you for all those who like and subscribe to my lovely channel. Thank you for all those who donate and get private readings. Thank you a million for those who go onto my webpage and buy my salt. And it's, did you see how big this is? This is a lot that you get in four in here, and it weighs a ton. And this is my salt. Oh, my God, and it smells so, so good. All right, these are my salt, honey. You see? Big old chunks of salt. Yeah, honey. Also, it is cave salt. Um, also, my candles. This is the black. Magic Spellbreaker candle, okay, this, however the candle burns, that tells you what is going on in your life. This is the Prosperity Abundance candle right here. This is the Love Yourself, I mean, no, this is the Spellbreaker candle for all y'all that's all in love and all the bullshit. This is the Love Yourself candle. The rest of my candles are behind me. Um, this is the cleanse your house. The water bath is the must have, okay? Um, this is my sage, which I've been, um, packing them up and sending them out. That sage come with Palo Santo. My sage smells so freaking good. My bracelets here, okay? My evil eye bracelet, y'all know I get down. Um, these are the bracelets also, necklace, um, crystals and stones. Also, you can find that on there. My oils come in oil forms. In oil forms. Yeah, I got to make sure I feel that oil on my forehead. And in dry form, okay? I also, um, <coughs> excuse me. Also, uh, let's talk about the trip. If anybody's going on a trip, all right, uh, it is 1-800-819-3902, and it's called The Spirit. Make sure you say everything right. It's Spirit Cruise, okay? People be going in there calling, then they be calling me with all this craziness. The extension is 83034. Um, if anybody's interested in that cruise, on the 30th of this month, me and Kelly run reading of um, uh, Madden's, okay? That is Mr. Kelly. Go over there and support Mr. Kelly, all right? Shout out to everybody else, all right? Um, let's get started. And like I said, once, I, once you read what you need to read, then I'm going to set you free so that you can do what you got to do. Drink plenty of water. Take a lot of salt baths, okay? All you need is that push. After that, you should be able to push yourself. I'm down with helping anybody. All right, so let's get this reader started. That is the bell that... I was sent here, oh my God, Miss Smith, I just love this little gift that you gave me. And it's got a Pisces on it, that's how cute it is. It's just adorable. And I got it hanging right here so I can just click, click, click. Thank you again for that gift, I love it. So let's see what's going on here, Pisces. Let's, let's see what's popping. Let's see what is popping. Stop it, y'all, too. By the way, my son's um, French Bulldog had five puppies, but one of them passed away, and they are seven weeks old. They are so freaking cute. I got to put a picture of them up. They are just so freaking cute. 
It is damn ridiculous. One boy, I mean one girl and four boys. So you know French Bulldogs are not cheap dogs, okay? You better check your uh, prices when it comes to French Bulldog. They're very expensive. Okay, I don't know what's he doing or uh, all this crazy stuff, but they are just too damn cute. Too, I wish they could stay that little. <laughs> I wish they could stay that little because I just want to. Mm, they smell so babyish. All right, Pisces. Spirits, guide me and protect me to do the reading. Guide and protect my energy. All right, make sure that um, I ask the spirits to show up on all my readings. To protect me from anything and anybody that don't want the best for me or my uh, YouTube or my followers, okay? If you're coming in all nasty, I pray for you and I pray for Art Michael to come after your ass, okay? And get you the hell away from here. Because you don't know how people be watching you. People be having some strange reasons to why they watching you and all they they know. People got the strangest things while they watch you, okay? But here it is. I want to air out all the negativity that wants to come through this YouTube at me or at my studio. Hello. Okay, yes. For those who want to copy and paste, that goes for you too. All right, now let's go. Uh, I need to feel flattered sometimes over myself because people just put me on a on a top shelf and I'm like glowing, glowing because they can't help themselves. All right, tell me what we need to know. That's the first card. Tell me what we need to know, spirits. Enlighten me with what I need to see. Enlighten me with the truth. Enlighten me with the truth. Give me one more. Throw one more at me, spirits. There it is. Ooh, cut it. Cut it. Ooh, somebody's cutting that money. And this is a sharp blade. This ain't no average blade. I mean, this thing cut. They want to make sure they come and get the outside of you. Like, chop. Make sure they got you in. Ooh, that must be awful. Somebody is, they, they look at this person with high honors. You know, this it, it's got to do with your money. Somebody's watching you. And it's the tent. It's like put all a bundle of your abundance, which you have been um, working at. You know, like uh, you are seeing, you know, that you are being honored by the work you put in. You know, the universe is congratulating you. It is what will honor you and give you what you want. Okay, the, the universe is being gentle with you and they will serve you when God says it's the right time, not you. A lot of good things, I don't know if you Irish, but it's a lot of good things that you're making a wish about, okay? But people see you with high honors or if somebody here feels like you on top of your game. Okay, somebody here is feeling like you on top of your game, Pisces. They see you moving. They see the way you move. You know, some, sometimes people just like sit there and actually they want to watch you to the point they try to be you. Okay, or they trying to watch you to the point that they want to do something like you. Or they want to um, mimicate you or something. It's like they want to. Somebody here is watching the hell out of you, and I don't know what they're watching for, but it's about your money. You know, they want to know what you do with your money, how you do it, how you make it, how you spend it, why you got this money, why they don't have it. You know, somebody is really, really watching your every move, every damn move, but you sitting on high honors, okay? So, Pisces, you got to be careful with people. All right, be very careful about this blade. And this blade is round, so you know they're trying to catch that ass and rip it. Okay? All right, now, so let's see what is going on here. Solitution, but you got somebody talking in your ears about something. Somebody want to talk. Somebody got to say something. I don't know what kind of little thing this is. It almost looks like a... um. 
like an owl. Somebody been here for a long time. Somebody got a lot of, it's very wise, okay? Um, very alert. So it's something here to tell you to be alert and that the light is shining. You know, it's shining, right? It's shining something bright in front of you. Solitution and, a, and peace will reveal. When you in solitution, that peace that you in, that being still, you get the answer that you're seeking. There's a light that will shine over what it is you need to see and need to know. You ain't got to say nothing. Tell me more. Tell me more, spirits. Tell me more, spirits. Tell me more. Tell me more, spirits. Tell me more. Tell me more. What is it that you want me to know, spirits? Tell me what you want me to know. Tell me what you want me to know. Stay focused. Okay? Hold the course and stay focused because you are being honored. It's like, I'm not lying. I keep saying somebody watching the fuck out of you. You better stay in course because somebody here, all eyes on you. All eyes on you. Damn, what the fuck? It's that light bulb that's right over your head. It's saying, beam, you better listen to it. Something is being lit up. You better pay attention. Pay attention. Somebody here is just, you in solitude. While you in solitude, they watching the fuck out of you. They watching your YouTube, your platform. They are probably sitting there looking at your pictures. Probably got cameras around you. I don't know. They watching the hell out of what you doing. How you doing it? How you getting it? Like I said, that shit don't leave my head. The first light, honey, the first light of winter, the beginning of a new cycle. And I said that this morning in the title, do not try to go back into this karma cycle. Do not go back into the, your old ways. Move along and see what is new out there. Stop trying to um, repeat something you already been in or repeat a stage of your life. All right. You need to uh, get that glimpse of that new light. All right. Take that light for what it is. It's birds here in the nest. You know, some something here is in a form of an of eggs. You know, the mother's checking on the mother's making sure they're eating it well, everything. But they haven't hatched yet. So it's a beginning of a new cycle here. And it's like I said, you in solitude. And it says stay focused, right? Stay focused. But it's somebody here watching the fuck out of you. It's ridiculous. I mean, I I mean, damn, I feel like is it eyes? I mean, I don't know what the fuck to think, but it's a lot of it seems like it's it's more than one person, and this could be good and it could be bad, depending on what how they um how they feel about you or what, what, it's like, why, why are they doing this? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know why, you don't know what, why are they there? Like, why they, I mean, you know what? That's why I say, um, a lot of people like Miss Renee and all y'all, y'all show your face when y'all do them, your YouTube or whatever the little thing which shows who's leaving a message. But a lot of people don't show their face on there, so it's impossible for you to even see who that is. So there's a lot of people that hide behind their name, behind the text and the phone, all right, that they don't want you to see what they're doing or see what they're saying or whatever it is. The phone today can be dangerous as fuck. I mean, people do some evil shit with their phone, but it says... Solitude is going to prevail something that you want to see. It's going to bring peace to you because it's going to prevail something that you want to see. It says, stay focused, stay focused. Hold the course down. The first light will begin a new cycle. And that is like now, honey. You already know that that's beginning that new cycle because we just went through the full moon. All right. You just went through that, not even a week ago. All right? 
So, and that, you know, maybe you couldn't get no sleep at night. It's like you don't know why you can't sleep. But a lot of y'all, today was that, that, that good night's sleep. Like, you slept good. All right? Uh, okay, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more, Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know, Spirits? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. What should I tell Pisces? What do you want me to know? Because I'm also Pisces. What is it that you're trying to let us know, universe? Talk to us. Okay. It says, you're ready. What are you ready for? Success. You're ready for that success. Okay. You ready for it. You ready for that, whatever it is that you plan, whatever else that you want. Oh, my goodness. I forgot. It says, reconsider reconsider so you got your hands you asking God for whatever it is that you want and you got the swords pointing down but you got your hands up it's not it's not look at this okay the swords got wings on it all right you got your swords down if somebody Somebody here does not want to fight, does not want to argue. They they come in with some type of peace. All right. Somebody want to be, they just want to talk or something. Communication is coming through. All right. Let's see what else we need to know. What else do you want Pisces to know, Spirit? We're getting into the reading now. All right. They were all the spiritual oracle cards, and, but we're getting out to, and even when I do private readings, that's what I do. I let God, the universe, and everybody talk to you, whether they are alive or coming through, um, dead or alive, they can come through, honey, and, um, and let you know, and then I read me and you. Okay, so that's the part where we at right now. The tarot cards, here we go. Spirits, tell me what Pisces need to know. Ooh. All right, so you got that 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 Knight of Swords coming talking, and then you got that Two of Swords showed up again. That's that. The the starting of your reading is someone's coming fast. Somebody wants to communicate. <coughs> Someone wants to speak their truth. It is cold. It is snowing. So it's about this time. If it ain't this time, it will be in November. Okay. Somebody here, um, the two of swords. There's two people here fighting over a nut or their swords is in the nut or whatever it is. Um, somebody here wants to come speak to you, but. You know, you got to see things for what it is, but it don't look like you 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 blindfolded. It look like you in it. It seems like somebody, I don't know, like with this to a source, that can be good or bad. It all depends on what the intention they coming with. If they come in a fight, then you know you won't get a fight. If they're gonna come to talk to you like they got some sense, then it can be worked out. But somebody here wants to come and talk to you. Somebody feels like you're not moving, you're not speaking, you're not saying shit. All right, somebody feel like you're not reaching out to them. Uh, somebody feel like you all into what you do. You know, you're not even, it's like you're not thinking about them because, and this is a problem that they always felt like you work too much. You do, you always um, putting on a lot of work into what you do. So maybe this person is, the kind of person that feels like you do too much for um, your business or your job. You know what I mean? But somebody here wants to talk to you. And it looked to me like, I don't know, it's a battle here. It's, it's like this fight can be salty. Like I said, the swords hurt. The swords can be cutting. but And it can cut things away. It can, I don't know which way they coming, but. The knife is good for many, and it's a sharp, it's the sharp, quick, you know, harsher words. Like the short swords is something that can really hurt you. 
And it seems like they coming fast in. And they are ready for this war, honey. They got their shields and everything on. Look, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Here he is riding that horse, right? He's riding that horse with that sword up. That means I'm coming to straighten shit out. I'm coming to say what I got to say. This may be somebody younger than you. I don't know. Um, but here is the same person again. The same damn person again. Now there is a fight. Is it a fight between two people? Two? Do you got two people in your life? I don't know. I don't know. What is? What more you want to tell us about this um, knight and this two of swords? Oh Lord, the Queen of Swords is showing up. The Queen of Swords is got the swords straight to her heart and is looking like she is not fucking playing. Look at his face. The Queen of Swords, and this, I told you it's going to happen in the winter when it's snowing. The Queen of Swords is like, you know what? I don't know which way they're coming, but they, they better know how they're going to come. Been through enough. I don't feel like going through this shit again. The Queen of Swords, is she comes with integrity. She comes and she's fair. She, sees, she tries to see things in a fair way. She don't want no problems, but if you bring problems, you're going to get problems. The Queen of Swords like, okay, what's up? What are you here for? What do you want to talk about? What are you bringing to the table? You know, what is all of these, uh, you know, bring bring your evidence. Bring the whole, you know, bring your whole town in this bitch. What, what, what? I'm standing in my throne. Standing in my throne, damn it. Looking down at the, uh, you know, the crowd of, what the hell you got to say in front of your crowd? What, what the fuck you want to talk about? It better be something about some success or some good shit. Because I ain't trying to hear nothing if it ain't coming right. Pisces is like, you sitting on your throne shit. You like, what? This is a, just a juvenile shit. You like, what? Let, let me just sit here in my castle and look at this right here. This nonsense that's going on. And... The queen is making decisions whether they want to even participate in the bullshit. Okay? Tell me more. Mm, go ahead, Miss Queen B. Oh, okay. So, the queen of swords coming into the ace of cups. Doing your rituals, living lovely in the middle of the water, in the middle of the ocean, wherever you at. You, you, it's like this big ass fucking cup. Look at you. You look like you happy. You don't look like you sad. You happy as shit. I mean, th this person wants to bring you some flowers. They want to start this new creativity. They want to get back and talk to you. You know, they want to, they want to, you know, they, they might not, they don't even want to argue. It's like, no, let's talk about this. Can we talk? Um, but it's like you expecting the worst. You expecting the worst from this. But it not, might not be as bad as you expect. You know, it might not, it might be totally different from what you expecting of this situation to unfold. All right? See, when you used to crazy shit, what else can you expect? <laughs> When you use a walking on eggshells and walking on a tight rope, what else the fuck can you expect? It's like, what, let me, you know what I need? I need to get this big old, um, that's what I need to do. I need to get a shell, protect, a sh like a shell, like, yeah, I'm protecting myself. Put that shell over my whole face, my whole body. What? What? What do you want? <laughs> It's like somebody is like, uh-uh, uh-uh, been there and done that. Like, what? Like, you want to offer me this big-ass cup, all the beautiful thing to come with this cup, but how long would this last? Like, how long? Like, somebody over here is fighting and carrying on, and you don't know. All this carrying on, this, you know, all this nonsense that took place, but now you want to talk. I don't know what you want to talk about. What is it? What can somebody possibly want to talk about? How can you trust 
when the trust was broken? How can you believe? Well, when you always know. It's like, you know, these people always talking about, well, let me see. Let me see here. I'm going to pull out the receipt. And I'm going to tell you what, honey, you can go to the store and get the whole roll. You know, the roll of the receipt. Bring the whole freaking roll of the receipt with all the receipts of the people. And see if I give two fucking shit. Isn't that how you feel, Pisces? Like, bring whatever you want. I don't even care. I don't even care. When I cared, when I cared, you didn't care. You 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 really made me this salty ass person that I am towards you. Because I don't believe in you. I don't trust you. You know, I know how you operate. Um, you know, I'm not going to be on um, Wednesday anymore or whatever day of the week it is. And I, you don't even got to text me. You don't even have to call me. I don't even care. You know, Pisces, you know, some people change their phone numbers like they change their drawers. You know, I've always had the same phone number over 20 years, probably more. Always had the same number. And um, I just feel like this. You call all you want. That don't mean shit that you dialing the number. It don't mean shit. All right? It really don't. It don't mean a damn thing, Pisces. Doesn't mean, look at this. So there's a death, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, um, uh, Libra. It's all up in this reading right at the beginning. Through the whole reading, the only one that, it's like this is a force of air in a cup. But you got more air in your whole reading than you got anything else. And then you got this damn death card. It's a necessarily of an ending here. This this shit has to be an ending. Because this shit ain't nothing but life. It's like ain't nothing but fighting. It ain't nothing but argument. It ain't nothing but disappointment. It ain't nothing but a replay of what it's always been. Now... I don't, even, I don't even know what to say. This is a replay. And the universe is letting you know. Why do you keep getting the deaf and the musician side by side? This is crazy. Is somebody here deaf and a musician? Okay, the musician is the number two in a car reading, right? I mean the number one. Because then the number two is the highest priest. So you got the, the musician, right? But then you got the death. So you go from, the death is further down the line, right? But then you got the death and then the musician. Is somebody here wishing death on you? Is somebody here doing some evil shit? Is somebody here um, feeling like they gotta, you know, you gotta be a part? Is somebody here feeling like, for everything that you've been through this with this death card, it's going to be a reward. You manifesting this reward. With this death card, you are going to be manifesting a reward. All right? Because I feel like you've already been punished enough. I feel like you've been punished enough. So this death is a new beginning. And you will be rewarded for ending a situation that you thought it would be so hard for you to end. You will be rewarded for not for standing up for what you believe and not fighting anymore with somebody. You will be rewarded for giving this person what they always wanted, was to stay away or get away from you. You will be rewarded for, you know, standing up and believing in what you believe in. Because the Queen of Swords is standing there looking over a banner, but you got the um, musician where... After an ending, and these are all majors, after an ending comes a, a new beginning. With a new beginning comes reward. From It's like you transform, transform it. It's like you letting, like you burying something for good. 
right? It's like I felt like I had to bust that skull that I had here with them, with them butterflies. I felt like I had to crack that skull because I felt like why I need to be, I need to come into a rebirth. So let me crack this skull and end it. You know how they say, let's get, you know, somebody going to hit you. You know, they're going to get to your skull and get to you, to the white meat. They mean, they, they're going deep in your skull to, to reach the white meat part of you. All right. Um, but I just feel like um, somebody here is, this whole ending is going to become, it's going to become beautiful flowers. It's going to. It's like you are replacing whatever was not serving you with something that will serve you. And I don't care what situation, where you're at in life, whatever it is, an ending is a new beginning. Okay? With this Ace of Cups, this big old cup that somebody's offering you. All right? I don't need this to blow me that much because I'm just getting over this cold. So... With this big old thing, with this big child and an ace of cups that somebody offered you, that's a beginning. That's a love thing, a marriage proposal or whatever it is. But it's a big cup, so that big cup can come in many forms. All right? Many forms. But whatever is coming your way is, 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 is good for you, right? Because it says reconsider. Reconsider how you do stuff. Because then from the, from the ace of cup, you get... The five of wands, right? The five of wands reminds you of confrontation, arguing, competition, all right? Um, can't seem to get on the same page, all right? That's what it means. It means like whatever it is. Um, it's like you resolving something. Something is, is being resolved. All right? Something here is with all of this shit that went on now, is something here being resolved. This death had to be, oh, it, something was necessary for you to end, for you to come into a new beginning and perform this beautiful magic that you're given. All right, you're done with somebody punishing you. You're done for somebody mistreating you. You are in a place now that you're not trying to fight. You're not trying to compete. You got all this shit going on behind the curtains that you don't even see. But it's like you are like saying, I come to an understanding with myself, right? That I can coexist with you in this world. That we can coexist among each other. But that don't mean that I got to be with you. That don't mean that you're going to be with me. That means that we can coexist. All right? We can be in the same place at the same time. We can be around the same people, you know, people that we know. We can be somewhere and, and be all right with it. All right? We can work something out together. Like, whatever it is, it's coming to a peaceful resolution. But before that, it was a lot of conference, a lot of fighting, can on. She say, he say. A lot of people in, in the business that ain't got shit to do with nothing. They listen to too many people. All right? They go about what people tell them about you. Tell me about this death card. Tell you about this death card. You got the six of swords moving to common waters. It's a little boy here. It's a man, a woman, a little boy. That you know, it's 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 hope here. It's hope. Somebody feel like it's hope. You got the um, death card and you got judgment. You know the phoenix. You rise. You 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 can fly now. You can feel free to go. This is a family. Judgment is a family too. You know, it's like somebody here is. Like somebody here is talking about you, talking about everything about you, all right? Um, they're putting words out in the street. they starting all this gossip. Um, but um, 
It's like somebody don't want to see a family together, right? It's like, how can they throw rocks at your windows when they need to look at their own? Um, like, it's, I feel like, you know, somebody here is judging another person. Um, how they don't like them or what's going on in their, in their family or in their house or whatever. Um, but who are they to judge you and who are you to judge them? Vice versa. The four of cups. You know, you got, you're, you, you need to be grateful for everything around you. You're sitting there like, you done lost your best friend. You sitting there like your whole world is caving in front of you. But you're not, you're not um, grateful for the things that God has given you. The clothes on your back. That you got a job. That you got a place to live. That you got food. Right? That you got your health. That you breathe in. Right? That you can see. That you can hear. That you can move. That you can walk. Right? It's like somebody here needs to stop pouting over everything when they have everything they really need. But it's like you're being selfish. It's like you're saying, like, what I have is not enough. I want more. Okay. Well, I'm, I am grateful for what God gives me. All right. Somebody here is not grateful for the things that they got in front of them. They they not grateful at all. They don't count their blessings. Tell me about this musician. Somebody got hope and all, but just it's like, nope. I don't know how this can work. Okay, you got the eight of pentacles. All right. L look at you. Look at you. All right. For the musician, you got the eight of pentacles. Hey, you got yourself the highest priestess. So you got the eight of pentacles and the highest priest, right? That's pretty uh think about it. The eight of pentacles and the high and the highest priest. It's like somebody here maybe wanting to somebody here looking for improvement. All right. They want to take action. Maybe somebody working in front of a computer. Someone is putting lighting out. Someone is lighting what they want to do. Um, they putting everything in detail. It, um, somebody here is mastering the skill. All right. Somebody um, is being a creator. Uh, um, very into craft. Um, maybe you making candles, maybe you making salt, maybe you um, opening a YouTube podcast, Instagram, TikTok, opening some type of uh, anything. But this is a time where your juices are floating and you are being creative about something, right? You have to have a lot of patience and determination and put your, all your soul into what you are going to do. Because it's something here that you really want to do. But I, I feel like you don't give yourself enough credit. It's like you are delivering your own unique quality form of doing stuff. All right? Somebody is like, you know what you got to do. Like, you know what's going on here. I don't think you give yourself enough credit for, for where you're at in your life, for how much you have accomplished, for what you're doing. Maybe you got too much going on that you don't know what you want. Again, you got that two of swords. All right. So, you started off with the two of swords and you ended off with the two of swords. 
is something here that you need to make a choice. And it, 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 this might be a real difficult choice to make. But when you make that choice, then you're going to grow. But you got to make that choice. All right? You got your blindfolds off and you're sitting there trying, I guess you, I don't know why you got these blindfolds on because um, the five of wands with all this can on and conflicts and somebody here needs to make a choice to move forward to if they want to stay in this, if they want to open this, whatever it is, it's something here that needs to be taught off well. It's something here that's saying... You are in calmer waters. you where you want to be. But for some reason, even though you're in calmer water and you where where you want to be and that you good where you at, you still feel like it's something here that I'm not doing good enough. Or you, you blame yourself for not being where you want to be. Even though where you want to be is the right place to be. All right? You're being very creative. You, you're the highest priest. You know what you need to do to make this pop off. All right, but you need to take the blindfolds off to see which way you're going. Because if you don't know which way you're going, you don't got your blindfolds off. This can be dangerous. All right, but like I said, there's footsteps on that snow. While you're sitting there praying, God ain't never forgot. Them footsteps are right there. You may think you're alone. You may think that you don't got the answer to this. But you got the answer. You just got to believe and you got to listen to your intuitions. And your intuitions are not going to lie to you. They tell you everything right in your face. You just got to listen to it and you got to move with it. All right? You understand? You got to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, then that shit ain't going to work. All right? But it's something here that's coming your way. And it's, it's going to take a lot out of you to really, really... Either move on or let it go. All right? I'll talk to you later, Pisces. Bye-bye.